Good afternoon and welcome. Uh, just about a year ago, uh, we were delighted to announce the appointment of uh, Mayor Richard M. Daly as a distinguished senior fellow at the Harris School at the University of Chicago and had great hopes and aspirations for his engagement with the student and the faculty body, not just in the school, but in the university as a whole. And I'm delighted to say that uh, this has exceeded our expectations. Uh, and not only that, but uh, we're in a happy position today, having experienced a year of very exciting site visits and speaker series from the mayor to be able to announce an intensification of his engagement with us. There is no limit to the level of engagement we're willing to accept. The only constraint is, is the mayor's time. And I'm delighted to say that we have managed to release some other tiny fraction of his energy and enthusiasm, which is the equivalent of four or five other people uh, taken together. <laughs> and to make the announcement, I'd like to call on uh, uh, the president of the University of Chicago, Robert J. J. Zimmer, to make the announcement, Bob. Okay, thank you, Colm. Uh, so we're here uh, today to announce the creation of a a new partnership, a revitalization project uh, for Gary, Indiana, a partnership between the University of Chicago and the city of Gary. Uh, the key leaders for this who have led the thinking about this and the creation of this program are, of course, our uh, former mayor and now distinguished senior fellow at the Harris School, Richard Daly, uh, and the uh, recently uh, elected mayor of uh, Gary, Indiana, Karen, Karen Freeman Wilson. Uh, an important role will be played here by the students of the Harris School and as well, of course, by the faculty of the Harris School. Now, I'm going to let uh, the mayors talk about the details of this program. I did just want to say a few words about the context of this with respect uh, to the University of Chicago as a whole and why this type of project is, in fact, uh, so important and I'd even say vital to us. Uh, we are a uh, great research university sitting in the middle of a great city and a larger uh, urban area that, uh, that surrounds that city. Uh, cities have both the uh, advantage of being the most vital and innovative places in uh, the country. Uh, they have, uh, along with that, uh, some of the most challenging problems that this country uh, faces. And it's incumbent upon a university like the University of Chicago, situated in, in a city with uh, extraordinary resources in terms of our faculty and our students, uh, to think about those ways in which we can engage with the uh, communities around us uh, in the multiple ways in which we can uh, contribute to helping to understand and, in fact, resolve some of the issues that cities uh, face. Uh, this is uh, a uh, effort that not only is designed to benefit uh, the cities and communities, but also to benefit the University of Chicago in the sense that it gives our students uh, a much greater uh, hands-on connection uh, to dealing with uh, real problems. And consequently, when they leave the university and go out into the world, they're in a much better position to be able to to contribute on the basis of their experience. Uh, we've been doing this with, uh, with respect to education, uh, with respect to violence and crime, with respect to health in urban areas, uh, and many other features. And we're really delighted at this uh, new partnership with uh, Gary to be able to extend our reach and extend the kinds of ways in which we can contribute to the urban environment around us. Uh, as calm indicated when he uh, uh, introduced me that we are the beneficiaries of the extraordinary experience, uh, talent, uh, and energy and vision of, of former uh, Mayor Daley. And we could not be more delighted at his, uh, his work with Mayor Freeman Wilson uh, to, uh, to bring this project to fruition. And with that, uh, I'm happy to introduce our distinguished senior fellow, Richard Daly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, President Zimmer, Holm, and of course, uh, Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson. And I want to personally thank uh, the Harris School of Public Policy. I want to thank all the professors, research, 
uh, assistant professors, uh, all the staff, as well as the students. I had, actually, I had a wonderful year uh, last this year, uh, meeting the students and working on uh, many subject matters and listening to various speakers and problems of urban communities. And I deeply appreciate uh, the great commitment the undergraduate and graduate students have made. It reaffirms your faith uh, in, in education. It reaffirms your faith in another generation of young men and women that will make a difference here, not only here in Chicago, but in Gary, in the country, in the world. I think we have to really believe uh, what we're doing in all our educational institutions here in America uh, and throughout the world. Uh, this is where the beginning and the end of uh, the difference of another generation can make, and they're making it right here. I'm very proud uh, uh, to be part of the University of Chicago, a great history of 120 years, of a great commitment not only to our city, uh, but our country and to the world. It has made a difference here in Chicago, uh, and through 22 years as mayor, uh, many, many of uh, those uh, uh, employees who came from the University of Chicago worked on many of the most difficult projects here in Chicago. And many of the interns came from the University of Chicago. Many of the issues of education or housing or economic development, dealing with issues in Chicago, uh, the resources that were always here from the university. I always deeply appreciated that. And that goes back in the history of Chicago. University of Chicago had, has always had a close working relationship with city government, which is important. And that doesn't mean there was differences of opinion on subject matters, but they were there uh, to help on issues that confronting the city over many, many years. I think we all appreciated that, all the citizens of Chicago. Like anything else, uh, uh, the year had wonderful speakers. Uh, we had many CEOs uh, that told their story uh, of their uh, life uh, of how they became a CEO and the struggles they had and some of the failures they had. We went to a revitalized uh, uh, steel mill on the south side of the city of Chicago uh, that's very environmentally friendly, competing in the world uh, uh, as a uh, steel uh, facility here on the south side of Chicago. We went to urban prep uh, 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 to listen to urban education and some of the problems with ur urban education. Uh, we saw speakers dealing with environmental issues in engineering and architecture, which is really important. At the same time, I've always known that public policy doesn't belong only in government alone. It belongs in the private sector and non-for-profit. More so in the private sector, I believe, than in the government. There is where they can make a difference with graduates from Harris School of Public Policy working with them on issues confronting their industry, not only here or their business in Chicago and the country, but throughout the world. And the public policy can be established. As they move into government, then they understand the private sector or the non-for-profit sector, and understanding how they can make a difference in relationship and collaboration with government, with the business, and the non-for-profits. And that doesn't mean there will be difference of opinion, but in the long run, how do we accomplish things uh, here in this country and also be able to accomplish things with the rest of the world as urbanization is taking place so quickly throughout the world. And so from my viewpoint, collaboration is the issue between government, the private sector, and the non-for-profit sector, especially the University of Chicago. And to me, I'm excited about this relationship that President Zinner uh, uh, has announced in regards to collaboration between the University of Chicago and the city of Gary. Why? Historically, uh, Gary has a strong relationship with our city. Many of the citizens of Chicago worked in Gary over many, many years. And many citizens from Gary worked in the city of Chicago. So we talk about close relationship historically. And also on a personal note, uh, my grandfather was a great sheet metal worker. And we had a home in Michigan. And every time we drove through Gary, he would stop in front of City Hall how do you have to get out of the car at any point? He said, I worked on the Gary City Hall as a young man, as a sheet metal worker. He worked in the steeple there. And he always reminded uh, the contribution uh, that Gary has given not only to steel, to manufacturing, creating the middle class uh, in, uh, in America, but great opportunities. And of course, uh, uh, Karen Freeman Wilson, uh, newly elected mayor of Gary, was my first speaker uh, uh, in my uh, speaker series uh, last year. 
Uh, she came uh, uh, into office with honesty and passion and commitment, uh, not looking uh, at the past, but changing what it is today and look to the future. And to me, I'm excited about uh, uh, a public official that has passion and commitment and reaching out to another generation of graduate undergraduates here at the School of Policy, Harris School of Policy, to work with her in, in Gary, Indiana. And to me, uh, uh, my viewpoint is that uh, Gary uh, has wonderful people. In the last 40 or 50 years, Gary has been forgotten. Not only the city, but its people. And America is better than that. We should not forget anyone in any part of this country as a city or its people. And that's by, I think, by working together with the university, with her administration, bringing the private sector, non-for-profit sector along, uh, I think is, 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 to me, is the type of plan that people want to see in America, that we don't have to worry when we drive through and say, well, it's always going to be like that. We can change it in this century. And so I want to thank uh, last spring many of the graduate students who work very closely with directly with the mayor on strategies and policies on areas of economic development, abandoned buildings, sustainability, environment, and municipal budgeting. Uh, I really appreciate uh, their, their commitment, uh, their intelligence, but most important, their passion. They're excited about working in Gary, Indiana. And of course, meeting the people out there, all types of people. Uh, and so to me, it kind of reaffirms our faith that we don't have to be ashamed of anybody living in any part of America. There's always a helping hand. University of Chicago is giving that. And over the summer, uh, some of the same students and others, especially additional students, uh, built on this work. They helped other projects, including the transit project, using technology to assist in evaluating public uh, options, technology, economic development, as well as the airport, which is really important from our, our perspective. We hope over the time uh, the work will ramp up with funding that we hope will come from outside donors, yes, uh, individuals and corporations, and foundations to support the collaboration. Our goal is to generate concrete outcomes and real results as quickly as possible for the people of Gary, and especially for the mayor. We look forward to, uh, for outside supporters to fund internships, postgraduate fellowships, and support the university's research related projects uh, implemented in Gary, Indiana. I believe this is the beginning uh, of many, many other universities taking the challenges in their own communities and looking outside the walls of, of their universities and saying that we can make a difference. With the great faculty here at the University of Chicago and great research and the commitment they have made, I firmly believe, uh, from my viewpoint, I mean, everybody gets excited in life about a lot of things, but from my viewpoint, uh, Mayor uh, Freeman Wilson is one that I'm excited about because she has the passion, she has the honesty, and she understands that people, uh, someone can make a difference in their lives and not just her but all the undergraduate and graduate who will be working on the projects will make a difference in Gary, Indiana. And it's my great honor to introduce the mayor of Gary, uh, Karen Freeman Wilson. Karen? Good afternoon to President Zimmer, Dino Maritol, to the entire Harris School of Public Policy family, the students, and certainly to the entire University of Chicago family, to Mayor Daley, and to his entire staff, as well as to our Councilwoman Kimberly Robinson, and our staff um, from the city of Gary, to all of you. It is a, an extreme pleasure and an honor to announce and to be a part of what we believe is an innovative and cutting edge opportunity, not just for the University of Chicago and Harris School of Public Policy, but for the city and the citizens of Gary, Indiana. When I first went to uh, Mayor Daly's class to um, address the students, there was a two hour time frame that was given. 
And I thought to myself, how can I talk for that long? And some of you are probably thinking, she's a politician, of course she's a politician. <laughs> but I was struck by two things. I was struck by Mayor Daly's willingness to really provide the wisdom and experience that he has gained as mayor of Chicago. But I was also struck and equally struck by the passion and the interest and the excitement that the students had as they not only asked questions, but as they provided early on ideas to our administration and to our team. And so as we continue to talk, I knew that this would be a mutually beneficial opportunity. And I'm so pleased to say that it already has been. So often as a student, and I certainly remember it, I have to remember a little further back than me, but I remember my time as a student. And uh, of course, we spend most of our time reading about what things should be, whether you're in law school or in public policy school or in, in college. And you read about the theories of how things work. But there is nothing like being involved in a clinic, whether it is a legal clinic or some other type of opportunity that you have as a student to put the research that you learn about into practice. And really, that is what this program, that is what this partnership provides, an opportunity for students to take what they are learning in the books from their professors and to really put it in um, a, a practical application in the city of Gary. And, and we believe that this will be a model for other cities to create partnerships with universities throughout the country. As a new mayor in the city of Gary and in, in preparation for my tenure as mayor, our team understood that it would take innovative solutions to really deal with what we understood to be intractable, intractable problems, our budget challenges, the challenges of abandoned homes, uh, the challenge of a shrinking city, the challenge that uh, crime presented. And to the extent that we understood what the challenges required, we always knew that as great as those challenges were, that our opportunities were even greater. The reason that we knew them to be greater was because we understood the importance of new partnerships, new alliances, new opportunities, and the importance of innovation in looking at government from a totally different perspective. And this is what this uh, partnership really brings to us as those who are charged with the honor of governing the city of Gary. We have already seen the work of the students take shape. They have taken shape in things as simply as helping us to rethink the way that we deliver general services to our community. Things as mundane to some, but as especially important to those of us who have to travel the streets of filling potholes of cleaning up dump sites, of looking at the way that we pick up branches and cut trees through the use of GIS technology. That program, that plan, was developed with the help of University of Chicago students, of developing a strategic way of looking at our budget and understanding that as we look to retire a deficit, it was not just about cutting costs, but about generating assessed valuation and creating new economic development opportunities, of looking at how our land use was planned and looking at the abandoned buildings in our city and what we might do to repurpose 
existing buildings and demolish those that could not be repurposed, but also looking at how we might uh, close off certain areas and offer them for development in both the short and the long term. We are excited about the work of the students that has occurred already, and we are looking with great anticipation to not just the work of the students, but the solutions that will come from their endeavors and their innovation and their energy that they bring to our government with age-old problems. We're also excited about the funding for this project. But more than anything, we understand and are really grateful for what this means to our efforts to create a new day in the city of Gary. And so on behalf of the citizens of our community, I would say to Mayor Daley, to the dean, to the president, to the University of Chicago faculty, staff, and family, and most importantly, to the students, thank you, and we look forward to the fruits of our labor together. Very, very good. Thank you very much indeed, Mayor Freeman Wilson. Mayor Daly, I'd like to say briefly on behalf of the school how excited we are about what this does for the school community as well. Uh, it seems to me that this could be a transformative initiative for us in the same way that it might be for the, for the city of Gary. Uh, we like to teach methodology. In some cases, we like even to teach something that might relate to the real world in terms of a particular area of application. But we make no pretense to be real operators in that outside world. We leave that to others. And we have here, I think, two people, uh, one of whom has already established himself as one of the great mayors of the uh, couple of centuries, I guess, 20th and 21st. Uh, and, uh, but I believe we may also be looking at a mayor who, a future dean and president, perhaps not the president of the university, but of the country, will point to as one of the great mayors of the 21st century. And it's certainly our ambition that what we can do to help, we will do. So we're already committed in terms of the brain power in the school, the enthusiasm in the school, our faculty involvement, Professor Chris Berry, who's our leader on this from the faculty side. We have a number of the students here in the room who have worked already on this initiative. To have the opportunity to work on real problems, real issues, and real challenges in a city in consultation with two mayors would certainly sharpen my performance were I doing this relative to doing it for a member of the faculty of the university. So I think having to bring the solutions and the ideas forward to our two mayors will certainly encourage people to be more radical and more innovative in their thinking because we know of Mayor Daly that this is the case, that he embraces not only ideas and ideas from young people and foolish ideas and challenging ideas, and I feel confident because of Mayor Daly's belief in Mayor Freeman Wilson that she is made from the same mold and will undoubtedly have, have the same attitude. So we think this could be transformative for us. We hope it'll be useful for the city of Gary. It's not going to work unless it works for both. So we see this really as a reciprocal arrangement in which we all benefit by having it benefit either one of us because it must be both. So I'd like now to, to open the floor for questioning from the media. Uh, I will point to people in a sort of vague way, and they will then ask a question, and then I'll point at somebody else after a while, and it's just been for five minutes, I understand, from my superiors on the administrative side. Does anybody have a question? Please. Uh, we have a microphone, if you if would wait until... Hi, uh, Jackie Harris uh, from the Mayor City. So I know a little bit about research projects and somewhat they start with data gathering after the uh, goals have been defined. So what kind of, who will be doing the data gathering? And uh, are they here right now, students? And what kind of goals have been uh, defined for this project? Well, I think that the, the data will be gathered by uh, both the students and, and cooperation with the mayor, first of all. And then the strategies is very simple. How do you look at 
uh, the abandoned building problem that Gary has. I mean, you, you drive throughout the whole city, and that is the number one issue that people see who live there, uh, who work there, and who drive through Gary. And that is an issue that must be confronted as quickly as possible uh, under her administration. Then after that, of course, is dealing with the land. How, how to use the land, land that is environmentally safe, and that land is not environmentally safe. And that's, that's the other issue. And how you basically place housing and education and, of course, open space and, and dealing with the manufacturing base. Well, well, I think you know it's going to go on is, is, you know, nothing can be, I wish things can be accomplished overnight. But I think the starting point is collaboration. The university here, the graduate, undergraduate students, the research and data they have, they have here continually, uh, they research everything throughout the world in public policy. And then in turn, of course, uh, uh, from my viewpoint, is the public-private uh, sector coming together. Uh, the government and the private sector working together on behalf of uh, uh, basically promoting and, and paying for it, funding for it, at the same time seeing results as quickly as possible. And if I may, um, Jackie, one of the things that we'll see, it's an ongoing process. We have already seen that with our use of GIS technology as it relates to general services. There was information gathering over the summer through uh, with uh, students and the staff working together. And as a result of that, we have already begun using that process and developing that process to deliver services in the uh, city of Gary. So that's a, it's an ongoing process. Also, my presentation, I talked about a series of speakers, and I forgot to mention one person, my brother Bill. Uh, he was the, a former Secretary of Commerce under Bill Clinton, uh, Chief of Staff uh, uh, with uh, President Obama. And uh, I did not ask any questions during the presentation. And he <laughs> gave a wonderful presentation, discussion with the students. Any other questions? We have one here. If you, your mic so we can still see on the phone, whatever is easier. Um, my question is, um, as far as with the students, um, how many students are we talking about that's going to participate in this program, with the collaboration, how, how many students are we talking that's going to be involved in this? Well, this, this, uh, the exact number of students is not known at this point. What we're planning to do is to have groups of students work on particular problems. So it may be that we will have three groups of students, or four or five initially, and it may expand to larger numbers as we move forward. So we'll match the students to the problem. They'll work on that problem. I should say, in terms of the longevity of the project, we at the university would like to see this as a long-term commitment. So we don't see this as a commitment for this year. We see this as a relationship that we would like to have with the city of Gary over a number of years, perhaps five years, perhaps 10 years, perhaps 20 years, because we see advantage to cumulative investigation and work on problems rather than just uh, a si single attempt to solve the problem in the short term. Uh, also, I want to point out that uh, Chicago, in collaboration with the uh, uh, Metropolitan Mayor's Conference here, uh, in, in the six county area of Illinois. We always included northern Indiana and parts of Wisconsin and parts of Illinois. So we always looked at Chicago as a region and what's good for the, the Collar counties and even Wisconsin and Illinois uh, and Wisconsin, Indiana is good for Chicago and what's good for Chicago can be good for them. You, you ha the competition today is not from metropolitan areas, it's not from America, but it's from the rest of the world. And that's how we have to rethink uh, urban strategies from the world and not from our particular uh, where we live destination. You know, I think our intention is to be colorblind, although I realize that that may be uh, an unrealistic goal in some cases. The students will be chosen not because of their uh, color, race, or ethnicity, but because of their interest in and capacity working with these problems. So we, 
we are really indifferent to that in terms of, of the kind of similarly for gender. We don't we won't select them on that basis. We have or we already have a number of African American students, uh, Hispanic, Asian, Caucasian students are working on projects already. So it's, it is diverse already. It, it, it is a combination of things. Yes. I think this is the last question. If we have a last question. Yeah, yeah Mayor Daly, um, Northwest Indiana and Indiana's tax structure is so much different than the state of Illinois and Cook County. Uh, what do you think this, the, the state of Indiana can do to also participate in this new endeavor? Well, we hope to encourage them. The, the, the University of Chicago is not just the University of Chicago, the state of Chicago it is a global university. It is recognized as one of the, the I, I myself, number one university throughout the world. I from think that undergraduate graduate programs is well respected as an educational institution. I mean, highly respected. And so that we hope to show that uh, this university uh, helps uh, uh, cities throughout the world. They do that today. So, uh, graduate students, undergraduate students are very global. And uh, like anything else, uh, relationships uh, are strong in Indiana. Uh, we hope to form uh, a good working relationship uh, with, with the mayor and, and others uh, in Indiana in regards to rebuilding the structure of, uh, of cities, uh, not only in Illinois, but throughout the country, in the world. This is also, I think, a great opportunity for us to strengthen um, many of the relationships that we're already building with Indiana schools that might uh, have more of a Indiana budget focus. Uh, schools like Purdue University, Calumet, schools like Indiana University Northwest, and uh, Ivy Tech College. You know, University of Chicago certainly is leading the way in a very robust way but we understand that there are opportunities to go around for partnership, particularly with challenges like ours. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to say that for those who are interested, uh, Professor Berry and a number of the students who've already worked with uh, on this project are available afterwards, uh, should you want to have, ask them any questions about, about their experience. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to thank uh, Mayor Daly, uh, Mayor Freeman Wilson, and, and of course, President Zimmer, uh, and to look forward to making uh, even more exciting announcements about this initiative as it produces more and more results and becomes a, a beacon in cooperation between universities and cities uh, over the next number of decades. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.